Hello everybody, welcome to Trans e Learning Physics videos. Today we'll be discussing about speed and in that we're we'll recovering the first video related to practice problems. This video has questions related to conversion of units and formula of speed. The first question, a bike covers a distance of 5 km in 4 minutes. Calculate its speed in centimeter per second. First of all, we need to analyze what is given and what needs to be found. It's quite simple here. Given values are distance, which is 5 km, and the time interval or the time taken is 4 minutes, and we need to find the speed in centimeter per second. So first of all, we should uh, write the relation between the higher unit and the lower unit related to distance and time. Here you can see that I have written 1 kilometer is equals to 1000 meter, 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter, and 1 minute is equals to 60 second. So uh, we need to get the answer in centimeter. That means when we are talking about the distance traveled, it is given as 5 kilometer and we need to convert it into centimeter. So it will be 5 into 1000 meter. So it has been converted into meter. And now when we need to convert it into centimeter, we know that 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter. So I'm substituting the value of 1 meter, that is 100 centimeter. So uh, like 5 kilometer comes out to be 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, zero centimeter. So this is the distance traveled. Now the time taken. It's uh, given here four minute and we need to convert it into second. Four into minute. One minute is equals to 60 seconds. So I'm just substituting the value. It's equals to 60 seconds. Now we have done the necessary conversion uh, of the time as well as the distance. We need to find the speed. Uh, speed is equals to distance traveled upon time. So speed is equals to distance upon time that is equal to five zero 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 centimeter upon four into sixty seconds. So uh, on solving this, we will get the uh, value as two zero eight uh, three point three three centimeter per second. You can write it as two zero eight three point three three centimeter per second, or if you want to just round off it, you can write the value as uh, two zero eight three centimeter per second. This is how we will calculate the speed after converting the units. In case uh, there is no problem with the decimal, you can leave the answer up to here, up to two decimal places. Uh, but in case they uh, ask you to round off, then you can give this as the final answer. The next question. A uh, bike covers a distance of five kilometer in four minutes. Calculate a speed in meter per second. This is the same question as the previous one, only the units of conversion are different. So first of all, what is given and what needs to be found. Given value is distance, which is five kilometer, and the time is four minute, and we need to find speed in meter per second. So the formal step is that we write the relation between the higher and the lower units. One kilometer is equals to thousand meter, and one minute is equals to sixty second. So first of all, if I uh, convert distance travel. Distance is given as 5 kilometer and I need to convert it into meter. So 5 into kilometer, 1 kilometer is equals to 1000 meter. I'm just substituting the value. So I'll get the answer as 5000 meter. And now the time. 
time is given in minute and we need to convert it into second so it is equals to 4 into 1 minute is equals to 60 seconds so I'm just writing the value is 60 second now we have done the necessary conversion for the distance as well as the time so now we will substitute the value in the formula of speed so speed is equals to distance upon time so speed will be equals to 5 into 1000 meter upon 4 into 60 second so on solving this we'll get the answer as 2.83 meter per second so this is the answer if you want to write it in decimal places but if you want to round off you can just write it down as 21 meter per second or uh, you can write 21 meter per second so this is the final answer this is with decimal places this is on rounding off part one ends here you can watch the second part to view other questions in this video